Hello friends. This is Pastor Roy. I guess that's what they call me. And uh, oh maybe 60 years ago I came across, across a tract um, with a beautiful message that having read it then, I read it several times haven't read it for many years and just recently came across it again. I'd like to read it for you, please. It's called Others May, You Cannot. If God has called you to be really like Christ in all your spirit, He will draw you in touch such a life of crucifixion and humility and will put on you such demands of obedience that he will not allow you to follow other Christians. And in many ways, he will seem to let other good people do things which he will not let you do. Others can brag on themselves and their work and their success, their writings, but the Holy Spirit will not allow you to do any such thing and if you begin it, he, he will lead you into some deep mortification that will make you despise yourself and all your good works. The Lord will let others be honored and put forward and keep you hid away in obscurity because he wants to produce some choice fragrant fruit for his glory which can be produced only in the shade. Others will be allowed to succeed in making money, but it is likely you will, he will keep you poor because he wants you to have something far better than gold. And that is a help, helpless dependence on him that he may have the privilege of supplying your needs day by day out of an unseen treasury. God will let others be great, but he will keep you small. He will others let others do a great work for him and get credit for it. But he will make you work and toil on without knowing how much you are doing. And then to make your work still much, still more precious, he will let others that the, get the credit for the work you have done. And this will make your reward ten times greater when he comes. The Holy Spirit will put strict watch over you and with a jealous love and will rebuke you for little words and feelings or for wasting your time which other Christians never seem to be stressed over. So make up your mind that God is an infinite sovereign, that he has a right to do what he pleases with his own. He will not explain to you a thousand things which may puzzle you in his dealings with you. He will wrap you up in a jealous love and let other people say and do many things that you cannot do or say. Settle it forever that you are to deal directly with the Holy Spirit and that He is to have the privilege of tying your tongue or chaining your hand or closing your eyes in ways that others are not dealt with. Now, when you are so possessed with the living God, that you are in your secret heart pleased and delighted over his particular personal, private, jealous guardianship and management of the Holy Spirit over your life, you will have found the vestibule of heaven. Amen. God bless you. Others may, you cannot.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 